Gadget UK here again. Uh, this is a video I've been meaning to do for quite a while actually, uh, probably three months uh, at least I think. Um, the penultimate cartridge from Time Mouth Software um, in conjunction with the Futures 8 bit. You'll remember I did uh, a review of this actually, uh, probably ooh, a good six to twelve months ago actually I think. Um, I can't quite remember when but yeah this was the original sort of cart, so this was like a prototype that Dave kindly sent me. Um, so I think it had a version 5B, the firmware or something on it. Um, and this board here provides you with uh, the sort of the ultimate solution, really. I, I know he's called it the penultimate, which is you know kind of like one before the, the you know the final thing. Um, with the idea being that you know there's bound to be future changes to things like this, and you know already there is. You know he's done like a a, a nice shell and stuff for this, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so this is my original prototype here, um, and this provides like both carts and RAM. Uh, supports all built in with menu. You can just press the little button and it brings up like a, a menu there, so you can select which game you want um, or your memory configuration stuff. And I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much depth because I've covered this in a previous video, and I will post uh, in the, the links down below and in the description above uh, a link to the previous video just so you can see a more thorough review there. Um, but I will be giving away this cart actually, not this one. I'm going to keep my original prototype um, and give away the new one that's been sent here. Um, I'll buy one at some point to replace, you know, because I do want the shell for this, and I don't think the shell will fit this prototype. It might do, it might do. Could be talking crap. Um, so without further ado, let's uh, let's just open this box here. You can see uh, now this came from the Futures 8 bit. I've already opened it, but yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised with the packaging. You, straight away, you know, that's nice, nice touch Commodore tape there. Uh, if we open this up, uh, you'll see straight away you get a uh, player here with some basic instructions on how to use uh, the car, which is uh, really nice. Uh, and there's the website, Future was 8 -bit UK. if you want to order one of those. I think you can also order them from Dave's website as well, timemailsoftware.co.uk. Uh, yeah, website's uh, down there for Dave's uh, Future was 8 -bit. So. Yeah, these are really nice. Um, you can use the joystick to navigate the menu as well. That's a nice touch. I didn't mention that in previous video, but as well as the keyboard, when the menu's up there, you can use the joystick, which is uh, really nice for us lazy people that just want to sit back and use a joystick. Um, it's also got the Vic Kit 4 and 5. I think this wasn't covered in the uh, the version. You know, they're not on the ROM uh, here for the, the the prototype that I was originally. Uh, reviewing and playing around with so that's quite nice I think you can use it to do high speed loading and stuff like that um, I'm not going to touch that just yet I might look at that in a future video uh, and it's basic for so I think there's like one or two extra things that are on there the menu might have changed slightly I'm not sure we'll have a look in a minute uh, what's the super expander Vic 20 super expander with graphics sounds commands to Vic 20 basic yeah, so that's something that's uh, additional, I think, as well. Um, and it talks a little bit about the Vic memory map here as well. So this is all useful information. So that, that sheet's pretty good. Uh, you can see here lots of nice bubble wrap, uh, and it's used these um, quick, really quick, you know, sort of removal things here, which is really nice. I've not seen anybody use those before. Um, so yeah, very impressed. And then bubble wrap inside bubble wrap, just to make sure. This was a, an extra freebie he threw in. Uh, Chap over at uh, Futures 8 bit, I forget his name just now. I was going to say Rod, <laughs> it's not Rod though. Rod Holt is his uh, YouTube uh, pseudonym. Um, but yeah, Pentagro. Pentagrat, is it? Yeah, for the Vic 20, I think. Yeah, Commodore Vic 20, 32K. So this was some uh, fairly recent homebrew. Lovely tape there, I like that. Um, so there was a, probably a limited release of these. You might be able to buy these from the Futures 8 bit as well, I think. So um, yeah check out their website so that's nice I'll try that in a minute we'll get the data set connected up and we'll play with that um, and here's the main thing he sent me so yeah nice packing again uh, and again quick relief thing lots of bubble wrap ESD safe bag very nice uh, you can see I've not opened this yet actually um, so let's just uh, peel this tape off here we can and have a look at the goodness inside Tucked in. What's going on? Oh, yeah, it goes. <laughs> it's just, yeah, ESD inside ESD. There we go. Um, that's lovely. Straight away, I'm very impressed with the quality of the plastic there. Instantly, that's uh, really high quality plastic. Yeah, for, for for this sort of thing, typically when you when people make these cart shells, you'll find you know the 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 they're not they're not very even. You know, near the edges. You know, the mold they use wasn't very good. But in this in this case, as you can see there, that plastic is super high quality. It really is. The moulding that's been done on that is fantastic. Um, yeah, maybe the Neo Geo, uh, Neo SD team should uh, contact uh, the chap at Futures 8-Bit to find out where he's getting these made. 
and the costs and stuff. They might be a bit more expensive, you know, but they are small. So I'm just thinking about the Neo Geo cart shells because I know that they were complaining that they weren't that happy with some of the quality of some of the shells they were getting. Um, although the ones have been sending out of the, the the good ones, I think. So. Um, yeah, very nice. So I will take the screw out of there, we'll just have a quick look inside it. And I have uh, discharged myself before I handle this board. Because uh, that seems to be a common thing on my videos. People just go on and on and on about ESD. It drives me nuts, it really does. It's one of those things that... Is it glued? I hope it's not glued. Yeah, it's epoxied. You sod! <laughs> you sod! I was going to go inside this to, sh to, to show the insides of the damn thing and you've glued the bloody thing. Okay, well, never mind. Let's scrap that. Safe to assume it's going to be pretty much identical to this, you know, minus obviously the extended PCB. That it's going to be the same sort of layout and stuff generally. Uh, I don't think there's anything additional on there. Might have used different chips for this uh, final build here, um, but uh, yeah, sorry, I can't show you inside without damaging it. And you know, considering I'm giving this away, someone's not going to be best pleased if I've smashed the thing apart in order to demonstrate it. So yeah, there you go. You never know it was in there. Uh, but yeah, you can see a bit of uh, the glue, sorry, glue or epoxy, whatever it is there. So yeah, one thing I would say is, uh, unless there's any good reason to do that, I wouldn't do that. Um, because it just makes it destroy, you know, makes it so, you know, you end up having to destroy the thing to get inside it. But there might be a good reason to do that, I don't know. Um, so let's uh, connect it all up and give it a try. So these things can be sometimes hard to get in on the VIC-20 actually, uh, but this one is not too bad I don't think, you've just got to get it in the right place, uh, make sure you've got it in the slot, that's the problem, because the slots, there you go, on mine I think I've got to sort of angle it that way a little bit, there we go, that's in, yeah, pretty firm fit there, but yeah, that looks sweet, um, so I've got my SD to IEC connected up also from the future is 8-bit, I highly recommended. I, I do keep meaning to get another one of these, I will do at some point. Just funds have just been so tight really with some of the things I've been doing, projects and things, I've just never got around to it, but I will do. Um, I think, incidentally, I think if you check their website now, they've got um, a special edition on at the moment, which is made from VIC-20 recycled plastic. So you can get one that's, uh, you know, it's made from old recycled VIC-20 cases. So I've switched that on, point at the screen. That's a good sign, menus come straight up. Yeah, so I think the menus are slightly, the, some of the menu options are slightly different there in terms of the list of games. Uh, I think I could be wrong, uh, but as we you know, use the arrow keys here to page up and down, you can see the Vic kit stuff there. That's different from what was on the version I had originally. Um, I'd need to check back at my other video to compare to see what's different there, but certainly the Vic kit 2 stuff is new, basic and the super expander. It may well be it only went down to 40 before and it's now going up to 48. That's, that's, possible from what I remember. I don't think there were 50 on there before, it's now got 48 so uh, yeah and you can see you know you press the function keys at the bottom there to set the amount of RAM so you know F1 sets it to 0k and it just takes you straight to basic. Yeah so there are two buttons on this version, you've got uh, men the menu button which is illuminated, uh, I'll just briefly just show you that uh, if I can down there. So that's the menu button, on the right hand side you've got uh, a reset uh, button there. So that's useful as well, that's uh, a change um, over the version that uh, you know I showed previously. Uh, just move the camera down, touch. Um, yeah, so you've got all your function keys there to you know you can see at the bottom F1 gives you 0k, F3 32k. So you've got your different variations around that. If you press that, it'll take as it says above. It says exit to basic, take you straight to basic. You can press F7 to load menu straight away from your SD to IEC. So if I press that now, it's loading from the drive. You can see drive access, and there we go, straight into the file browser there. So I can select a file. So that works really well as well. Let's just go back to the menu. Uh, see what else, is there anything else different? Yeah, I think it's pretty much the same actually. You can press A for advanced. Uh, that shows you, you know, it gives you sort of fine tuning over your memory configuration. Uh, how do you get back out of that now? Um, yeah, a N to go back to the normal uh, page instead of the advanced. And you press D to change your default drive there. So if you, you know, your SDT IEC is on a different device ID drive ID, whatever it is, um, it takes that into account as well. So yeah, and you can see the menu version has changed at the top there, it's 5D now. Um, but yeah, it's uh, you know it's pretty much the same, like I say, there's not much more I can show you. I was hoping to have been able to have a look inside the car, but uh, yeah, sadly it's glued. 
So I thought we'd load Pentagrat here and test the penultimate cartridge as well at the same time because it needs this game pound from the front cover. It seems to suggest it needs 32k. So uh, if we go into basic with 32k, that's F3. Uh, you can see it clears the, the RAM there as well at the same time. That's something I didn't uh, point out in the previous video. Because um, you know, just allocating the RAM is not enough. You need to actually blank it probably because it won't have been initialized from boot. Uh, so let's just do uh, shift run stop actually is probably the easiest thing to do. There we go. There you go, you can see it's loading. And we've got a countdown that's really nice. <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. I honestly didn't think that was actually possible in the VIC-20 to have loading music. Superb. So I think we're loaded now. Excellent. Right. I'm going to plug in my uh, Neo Geo Arcade stick here with my uh, adapter. I've seen me do that in a previous video. So let's hit fire and see what happens. I think this is like an isometric game as far as I can gather, you know, kind of like head over heels. The uh, I think it was a Batman game, wasn't it? It was very similar. Um, Knight's Law, was it? Knight's something? I can't remember the name of the damn thing now. One of those ultimate play the game games, wasn't it? <laughs> Excellent, okay, so I'm not a little thing. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be one of these games where I spend 10 minutes trying to get out of the first room, I'm sure. Oh, you can go down that hole, that grill, whatever it is, yeah, jump down on it. That's pretty cool actually, I'm pretty impressed. Although the isometric things play and have it with my brain. You've got to use, you know, if you try and go diagonals it goes all weird. You know, it's not, you've got to almost hold the stick at an angle <laughs> to avoid confusing yourself. But yeah, I'm very impressed. It's a nice bit of homebrew this. I presume I've got to sneak past that little sod. And you've got health, yeah, health bar, you can see bottom left there. But uh, yeah, I'm very impressed. That's a really nice uh, freebie throw-in that that uh, is provided. Um, highly recommended. If you've not got this game, I'd uh, head over to their website and buy a copy. I can't imagine it's very expensive. Good use of sound as well, actually. It's a heat-seeking kit. So let's have a quick look at one of the carts on here. Let's have a look at Donkey Kong. Uh, and you press the key in the, you know, you can see the, the, the numbers there. It's the one that's got the uh, white backfill. That's the, that's the key you press, so like zero, or load Donkey Kong. So let's have a quick game of that, uh, see what the Vic 20 Donkey Kong's like. Uh, I think we can move that with the arrow keys, yeah. Fire, is it? Yeah, it's a bit crude on the Vic 20, but it works, it's functional. Centipede, let's have a go at that. Again, let's move it across. Oh, I can't move it across on this one. F1. Excellent. Not a bad version of Centipede, this. And a bit of Defender. I can't not do Defender. It's a pretty good version actually on the Vic. It's a little bit slow, a bit jerky, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. I remember playing this actually at a friend's house, Julian, when I was uh, a little kid basically. Galaxian, let's go for Galaxian. Again, pretty good actually.
Mutant camels, let's have a go at that. This is like a grid runner, isn't it? It feels more like grid runner than uh, mutant camels. And you can use the joystick here, I'm using the joystick to navigate here, which is really nice as well. I thought we'd try a bit of Frogger as well. Oh sure. And now that it's in a shell, it's really easy to get it out as well, so yeah, highly recommended. Uh, I am very impressed with the quality here, you know, the label's really nice, the plastic's great. It's, it is annoying, I couldn't get inside it to show you, but to be honest, it's, it's as I say, it's going to be very, very similar to this, just with the, the top part chopped off. It's going to be extended to have a little bun at either end. And they may have um, decided to use a different chip, you know, it might have uh, different uh, chips there rather than... Uh, the chips you've got on here, but it's, it's effectively the same thing. I'm making greasy marks on this, but uh, yeah, if you're interested in winning this, um, just share this video on uh, Google Plus, YouTube, or Facebook or something. But also, after you've done that, put a comment down below uh, just to let me know you want to enter. Um, and uh, 30 days from now, I'll pick out a, a winner from the uh, entries below um, and uh, ship this off to whoever's uh, whoever's won it. Um, now, he, I think he wanted me to keep this and to, to give this one away, but uh, I think it's better for you guys to have a shell, you know, a shelled version. And I can always pick up one of these at some point in the future anyway, which I had planned to do. Uh, anyway, I thought you'd find that interesting. Thanks for watching. See you soon.